This is my first 1916. I want it to be the D. Oh my goodness. I'm shaking. Let's flip it over. If this is a D, I'm going to freak out. Oh! <gasps> What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video I'm going to be sorting through my silver dimes, specifically the Mercury dimes, trying to fill this book here. Have not started on it yet, every single page is empty, and in my dime collection here, I have basically two different types, the Roosevelt dimes and Mercury dimes. Now the Roosevelts, I'm not going to be going through those, I'll just set those to the side, but the Mercury Dimes, I'll be looking through every single one. And these are the coins I'm going for. So these are the key dates, 16D, 21D, and 21. If I find one of those, that's like the Holy Grail. <laughs> so that'll be awesome. These are kind of the better dates, uh, 26S, 28D, 31D, 31S. And then we have the varieties. So 42 over 1, 42 over 1D and 45S Micro S. So I'll be going through all the dimes today. This is gonna take quite a while. Okay, so I literally just dumped out my first tube and as you can see, it is some Roosevelt's and some Mercury's. So I'm gonna have to go through every single one of these tubes. I don't know why I didn't organize them by <laughs> type. Uh, so this is probably gonna take a lot longer than I thought. But uh, either way, let's go through this. What's that one there? 1940. All right, we got one for the book. <laughs> oh boy, what have I gotten myself into? All right, so I sorted the first tube, and as you can see, most of them are mercury dimes, so that is promising, but some of them are kind of slick, like this one right here, but either way, I'm going to sort these by date, and uh, we'll see what we find. I found my first 1942, and remember, we're looking for 1942 over one, so it's an over date, but unfortunately, it is not the 1942 over one variety, so let's keep looking. I'm making pretty good progress, haven't found anything crazy so far. I found another 1942, and it's not over one, but it does appear to have a little bit of doubling, which is interesting. But either way, I'm going to keep on searching. Okay, I'm on tube number five, but I'm coming across a little bit of a problem here. The high 40s, 45, 43, even two, these piles are starting to get pretty big. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to fill them in the book here. And then any of the high 40s, I'm not going to sort anymore because it's getting kind of ridiculous. Okay, so I went through all of the 40s. And as you can see, we've done pretty well. The only two we need are the 42S and the 42 over 41. So anything that's 1940, I'm going to not sort anymore unless it's a 42 uh, or if it looks like uncirculated or something crazy. But uh, that's where I'm at now. So let's keep on rolling. I completely forgot that I'm looking for a 45 with the micro S. So I went back and looked through all those 45s. Didn't find any, but this one here um, actually is pretty decent condition. So that one might make the book. But uh, anyway, I'm going to be pulling out all the 42s and the 45s. And uh, we'll see if we can come up with anything cool. All right, I'm almost 30% done with this box. And I've got everything sorted the best I can. These are all the 42s. I need to go through those. And I did find one Barber Dime. That's kind of cool. But I was going through the 45 S's, looking for that Micro S. And this is that one that I found earlier. This is kind of my control. So I want the S to be smaller than that one. And check this out. I believe I found one. It's clearly smaller. Now, it's obviously not in very good condition, but I think that is a micro S right there. And I was looking through the rest of them and check this out. I think I found another one. So I have two of the 1945 micro S mercury dimes i'm pretty stoked on that i'm gonna keep on looking through these coins and see if we can find anything else i just found my first 1916 i found a whole bunch of 1917 18 19 a lot of these are 1919s 
This is my first 1916. I want it to be the D. Oh my goodness. I'm shaking. Let's flip it over. If this is a D, I'm going to freak out. Oh, it's an S. Oh, man, that... Oh. I thought for a second that was a D. All right, 1916S. Still really cool find. My first 1916. All right, let's keep going. The very next tube, I found another 1916. All right, let's see what this one is. Also an S, I believe. Let's double check. Yeah, definitely an S. All right, well, we got two 1916s now. We want to find that 1916D. Where are you at? Let's keep going. All right, update. Here's where I'm at. So the uh, 30s were getting pretty tall. So I added uh, 1935 and up to the book. So we got all those. And then on this page, the only one I need now is the 1942 over 41. So the book is looking pretty good. I got all the 20s and the teens up here. We'll go through those at the end. I am 40% done, and I'm going through all the 1942s right now. I'll show what I'm looking at. So that's a no. Throw another one on there. That's a no. Basically, there's a one beneath the two. That's a no. I got a lot of these to go through, so... I'll go through all these and then I'll keep on searching through the dimes. I am making really good progress on these and a lot of the ones have been just a ton of uh, a ton of Roosevelt's. So less and less mercury dimes, there's one. But uh, I'm gonna go through the rest of these and see if we can find anything and then we will uh, wrap it up. We still got a lot of these early dates to go through. There's a bunch of 28s in here. I haven't checked to see if we have any 28 Ds yet. So that'll be interesting. But uh, let's wrap this box up. All right, I made it to the very last tube. And uh, haven't found any of the crazy ones yet. No 21s at all. Obviously no 1916 Ds. The 26, 28, 31s. We're going to have to go through those because there might be some of those mint marks i didn't look through them yet and uh, i've got a few more 42s to go through still to look for the 42 over one but let's go through this last tube together here and see if we can't find anything interesting so obviously i don't want any of the roosevelts i don't even think there are any key dates in the roosevelts there may be but i I don't think so. Maybe a few errors. Uh, anyway, I wanted to mention that this whole box here, this is just junk silver that I've stacked over the years. I've never gone through it before. Some of it I got from bullion dealers. Some of it I got from, well, individuals. So there could be some cool stuff in here. I don't know that it's all been sorted through, but definitely some of it has been sorted through in the past. I mean, I think whenever you buy from a big bullion dealer, They've probably gone through, look for, you know, most of the key dates anyway. Let's put these over here. Filling up this little sterling silver cup <laughs> with silver. Okay, so 1942. I don't think that's over one, but we will check that. Another 42. My goodness, there's a lot of 42s. 43, 36, 45. That one could be... Nope, that's a big S. 41, 45, no S at all, 43, 42, I mean these 42s don't look like they are the error, 17, we'll take a look at that one, 38 and 40, so I'll put that 17 there with the rest of the 17s, should be right there, and I'm going to go through all of these 1942s, look for that uh, 42 over 41, and then we will go through the rest of the coins and see how many we can put in the book. All right, so I went through all of the 1942s. None of them were the overdate error 
variety. So that is unfortunate. But we have some 26, 28, and 31s. We may have some of these kind of semi-key dates. I haven't gone through them yet. So we're looking for the 26S. We'll do that one first. So all of these here are 26s. Let's flip them over and see if any of them have an S. That one does not. Definitely Philadelphia. Let's check this one out. That is a D for Denver. Pretty close. We want the S though. Also a D. You can see the mint mark. Let me show you what this is like right here below the leaf, I guess. So that is a D mint mark. We want that to be an S. If it's an S, that is great success. No mint mark there. Uh, no mint mark there. There's another D. Come on, another D. None there. The D is for Denver, S is for San Francisco. Nothing there, it's Philadelphia. No and no. Wow, that is a bummer. So we did not get any 1926 S's, but we got a few Denvers and a lot of Phillies. Uh, I'll go through those, pick out the best one, put it in the book. Let's do the, what do we got next? 28, looking for 28D. So now we want the Denver. Come on, give me that Denver. Nope. Philadelphia. Wait, that's a D. Hold up. Is that a 1928? Oh my goodness, I think we found one. We do have a 1928. Looks like a little bit of doubling. And we flip it over. And it is a Denver. Yeah! Okay. So this is probably worth, <laughs> like, I don't know, $4. <laughs> I'll have to look it up. But we did get a 1928D, which was one of our goals. So I'm pretty stoked on that. Okay, let's set that one aside. We'll go through the rest of these just to see if we got another one. I kind of doubt we would get two, but that would be pretty sweet. These look to be all Philadelphia's. That is a San Francisco. Hey, at least we'll be able to put it in the book. Wait, is that another one? Nope, that's a San Francisco. False alarm. Philadelphia. Philadelphia. San Francisco and San Francisco. Okay, so last ones are the 31s. Now we want either a 31D or a 31S. Any mint mark at all would be great. There is definitely not one on that one. Nothing there and nothing there, bummer. Okay, well we did find the 28 Denver, which is super cool and it's actually pretty decent condition. So I'll put this one in the book and I'll sort the rest of these out, put them in the book, and then we will do a final wrap up. All right, so I put all of the dimes in the book and I'll just show you what we got going on here. So no 1916 or 1916 D, but we did get the 16 S and then we have them all filled until the 21s. We still need the 21 and the 21 D. Those are gonna be hard to get. Um, no 24 D, I don't know why, just randomly didn't find one and no 25D, so that was interesting. But uh, that's the first page there. Second page, no 26S, no 27D, so I still need those. I know the 26S is gonna be really hard to find. And then no 31D and no 31S, but I have the rest of them. The uh, 28D that we found, turns out it's not worth a ton of money, but still cool to find that one there. And then the last page, we actually have all of them filled in, every spot except for the 42 over 41. Unfortunately, we didn't find any of those. Now we did find two of the 45 micro S's, which is kind of cool. There's no spot for those in the book here, but uh, I'll take those down to the coin shop, see how much money they'll give me for those. And we did find one Barber dime as well, 1902. So that was a pretty fun little project there. It took me quite a few hours to go through all those Mercury dimes, but I had a good time. Maybe I will try to find the rest of the dimes to fill this book, and I'll do a video about that 
at a later date. I know it's going to be really expensive to get the 16D and probably the 21s as well. <laughs> but uh, anyway, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next one. Silver Dragons, out.